travelers, gentlemen, thank you. It's nice to have you here. First of all, let me say how nice it is to have theater coming back to life after the pandemic. I feel as if that was missing. Uh, not that Zoom performances weren't great, but yeah. we want we get to see you guys or you, and you get to work on a real production. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, we're here with the legend, man. Yeah, the yeah. Area legend. Come it's on, 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 on the air. I, I find out you guys are big sports fans, but yeah. we'll talk about that after. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, this play uh, is about the Central Valley. Yes. It was inspired by the Central Valley, by yeah. migrants, yeah. by uh, Catholics to a certain degree, the old yeah. Catholic monastery. These are things that me, growing up the way I did here, uh, hits all my notes. What, what, can, what can you tell me about being the lead in the play? Uh, it's, it, it's a lot about uh, transformation and uh, the the journeys that we go to go through uh, physically but more internally uh, at trying to be the people we are trying to get past trauma and uh, trying to become better people so yeah it's a it's a journey <laughs> when you read the script did you feel wow this is deep I, I was blown away by it and I'm constantly blown away by it in rehearsal I, I feel like we keep digging into new layers of, of what the meaning and yeah it's amazing yeah, I mean, we're, 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 so we have this incredible opportunity. The writer, Luis Alfaro, you know, worldwide uh, recognized writer, MacArthur Genius Award writer, and not only did he write it for the Magic Theater and for the group Campo Santo, but for these actors. Yeah. So to be, like you're saying, both to be in communion with people, which is what theater does, live communion, but the live generative process of him writing to people's needs, past histories yeah. and for these it's a it's six, you know, male appearing people, you know, all brown men, you know, Latinx and Filipino folks. It's it's it feels like exactly what we need to yeah. be together and to sort through these problems. I wanted to ask you, Sean, uh, that theater uh, yeah. is a beautiful theater. How, yeah. how you know, uh, then a Fort Mason, yeah. that's traditional in its own right. For how sure. do you feel working there? You step outside, you have beauty, and the theater itself has yeah. been revitalized. How do you feel working there? It's amazing. I'm glad you said that too, Sal, because I think in the last few years, people have been on this tip that like, oh, Fort Mason is really far. We can't go see you guys. That's hella far to go. It's not that far. And, and there's parking. Yeah, oh, and, and the parking. You saw all our good <laughs> material. Absolutely, yeah. parking yeah. and the view. You you're you're looking at the bay. You're looking at the bridge. So it's beautiful, and it's a beautiful reminder. You could see Alcatraz, all those horrible memories, and so you're just reminded constantly. Both you're in the city, but you're at the edge of the city. So yeah. possibilities seem more open. Up yeah, there. it's yeah. amazing to do. Yeah, and then you go in this place. little box, and you do a, what seemingly is a made-up world, but is really. Uh, a magical reflection of our real world. I'm a big fan of the theater, uh, uh, but I, I do want to ask you both because this, uh, for Latinx people, mm -hmm. this actually might hit close to home. Do you feel any responsibility to do something in a certain way to represent your community? And I'll start with you. Uh, always. I mean, I started working in theater with our group, Campo Santo, because I was mainly interested in trying to reflect the world we live in. And so I think. Of course, there's a responsibility for that, but there's also just the directive to be honest and to try and give voice to the voiceless. And so it feels, I mean, at this point, 2023, Sal, we should be beyond that, but we're certainly not. So have a great legendary writer like Luis Alfaro telling our stories that the more specific we are about talking about our culture, our memories, our ghosts, I think in that way, interestingly, it it's more transcendent and more people can relate to it. I think it's just so important to have a representation, whether on screen, whether on stage, and because it's so limited, uh, the stories that get told are really funneled into like a few occasionally very st stereotypical images of who we are. So I, I love doing shows for the community, for children. I love when kids come up and they see themselves for the first time and, and sometimes they get emotional about it because they don't even think that that's possible. And I remember being young and just seeing that possibility. So to have something like, like Campo Santo in San Francisco is uh, absolutely important. So no pressure, my man. No, no pressure. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I will tell you that uh, if you want to see the play, we have some information here uh, that you, you want to see the play. We have a link on our website. Just head to ktvu.com slash web links. And a reminder, it premieres on February 15th, runs through March 5th at the Magic Theater in San Francisco. It's a great theater if you haven't come. Fellas, 
thank you so much for being here. Absolute honor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. A good conversation. Thank you all. Still to come here, some people in the Midwest are being told to evacuate their homes this morning. Coming up on Mornings on 2, the 9, why rail cars at risk of exploding and who's being affected. I absolutely hate it, pricking my fingers. You get these calluses and these sores. Pick a finger, you know. Which one are you going to hurt today? Once I was able to use Dexcom, I could simply monitor on my phone, and I didn't have to prick. I'm not relying on a finger stick. The critics agree. The clash was a hit. Get ready for the sequel. NASCAR comes to downtown Los Angeles. Take two from NASCAR's best in a race you have to see to believe. The Clash of the Coliseum. Next Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Connect with Flex, Fox Local Extension. Reach local viewers down to the zip. Across Flex and 150 plus premium partners. We connect the dots plus serve up unique customer insights to help reach your goal. Connect with Flex.com. I know you care about people. I know people look to you for advice and for support. But don't you ever forget to put yourself first. Don't be so good to everybody else that you deny yourself the very thing that you give to everybody else that makes them strong. You see, you deserve a little bit of what you feed to the rest of the world because your being here is indispensable and it's proven every time somebody calls you and asks you for support. What you need is inside of you. Pull it out and be great on that. Hey, it's Dr. Mike. A new study found that hangovers will really get you in your mid-30s. Now, I don't like to see anyone at any age drink too much, but the older you get, the more likely you're going to suffer after drinking too much. Take plenty of fluids, stay off the highways. I'm Dr. Mike Sirigliano with the Fox Medical Team. In Chile, at least 23 people have been killed as the country deals with massive wildfires. There are 204 fires uh, currently active there. A heat wave during what is the Southern Hemisphere summer has made it difficult for firefighters to get control of the fires. Temperatures in some of the affected areas have been above 104 degrees. The FBI is now investigating the murder of a councilwoman from New Jersey. Police say Eunice Dwamfor was shot multiple times inside a white SUV Wednesday night. The 30-year-old Republican was